Well, we need a, we need more holidays. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, we had those two monster dogs come in, which was great. But uh, tonight, let's see what we got on the board here for Ramon. We go to seven e to six forty Eastern time. Marlins here to host the Angels here. The Marlins going to be favored buck thirty five total of seven. Yeah, Tony, I like this game, but I also picked Miami to be in the preview because I wanted to do a preview in the honor of Hank Goldberg, who passed away yesterday. Man, you talk about a legend in this industry. Uh, he's the guy who kind of kept gambling in the mainstream. He uh, assisted Jimmy the Greek and then was uh, uh, the next uh, network handicapper, if you will. So let's do this one, Miami for Hank Goldberg, the Angels and the Marlins, Syndergaard. And Alcantara, uh, do I need to have an explanation for this game? The final score is going to be one to nothing. I would think the Angels didn't do anything against the Astros. They were swept. Their bats were silent. They scored four runs. They're hitting a buck ninety-one over the last ten games. Syndergaard hasn't been, you know, Syndergaard necessarily, but still, his three point eight six ERA has gone under in seven of his last ten. Uh, games, including five of his last six starts. He's got a 7-1 and one record against the Marlins' lifetime. Of course, we know he's, uh, you know, from the National League, 2.16 ERA against the Marlins. And the uh, Angels have gone 5-14-1 uh, to the under in the game. So I think the Angels are going to have a tough time with Alcantara. Uh, you know, there's only been 13 shutouts this uh, 13 complete games in the major leagues this season and Sergio has two of them Tony he's got that 1.95 ERA 0 0.95 whip uh, he's six and one in his last nine starts is also uh, you know the Marlins with Alcantara uh, two and six to the under in his last eight starts and uh, he's pretty much dumped his curveball and gone specifically with a fastball change-up combination as primary uh, usage, which I think is interesting. I mean, uh, his change-up makes him that much more deadly, I think. The Marlins have gone 1-4-1 and one to the under in their last six. Of course, the Marlins are coming off a sweep of their own, uh, Tony, but uh, I, I think their bats could be hurting today, too, against Syndergaard. Now, it looks like they might have a, a better matchup on paper, but uh, I can't like their match up that much against Syndergaard, Cooper, Brian Anderson, Rojas. Uh, they might have a tough matchup uh, against Noah, I think, in this game. Tony, I, I, I think it's a low-scoring game. I really wanted to make it a premium, and uh, really I just want to do that Hank Goldberg uh, tribute. So that's why I gave this one out as a free pick. I'm going under in the game between the Angels and the Marlins. I, I don't think there's be much of a score. I want to go, I almost want to put an exact score pick and just kind of go, you know, one nothing, put about four or five bets in, you know, one nothing each way and maybe two to one each way. I, I, I really think these guys are going to be uh, getting down today. Yeah, it looks that way uh, with the Angels. Mar Marlins under seven, uh, says uh, uh, Ramon Scott. And it can't, hard to argue that one, right? The, the, the way uh, but both pitchers are going. Although I would trust Alcantara a little bit more uh, than Syndergaard. Syndergaard's strikeout mark is way down, uh, the 17% uh, mark. But again, he's getting the ground ball outs here at 47%. And of course, the Angels have just been pounded here by good pitching, right? You see the Astros pitching staff. Too bad they couldn't get Odorizzi, right? <laughs> they do the wrong cards there. So it was the Royals that got Odorizzi. But uh, they get, they get, and then of course they go to Miami to get Alcantara. It's got to be tough for the hitters now, knowing you're going to be you're, you're up against it again here. Yeah, and I just saw the Angels lineup come out of. It's certainly, you know, going to have a good lineup at the top. You got VR, Trout, Otani, Ward, and Walsh, but. Uh, from there, Renifo, Stassi, Marsh, Velasquez. So not really intimidating down there at the bottom half uh, of the lineup. And Sergio, you know, when you all of a sudden we got one of Sergio's games, you look up at that board and you know it's sixth and seventh inning again. It's one to nothing. Uh, you know, yeah, Miami is hitting. Uh, you know, right-handers pretty good, especially at home. Uh, again, I still rate Syndergaard pretty pretty well above average uh, in the department, despite 
uh, you know, maybe a little bit of, of a regression to his numbers this season. Maybe he's perform underperforming. Certainly, I think uh, Angel fans were expecting more. Maybe we all were expecting more. But, uh, you know, he hasn't maybe necessarily hit his stride yet either. So, uh, I, I, I do like, you know, the Marlins uh, uh, in some matchups. I don't know about in this one. Uh, like I said, uh, I, I look at those guys up there. Let me see what they've got going. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, what can you say? Marlins against right-handers, they do uh, have some pretty good metrics. But, uh, again, I think against Syndergaard, uh, this is, it, it might get fired up being a little bit of a pitcher's duel here. And uh, that's the way I see this one going. All right, Roman, it's a pitcher's duel here. Angels, Marlins here under a total of seven. This one will have a start time here of 6.40 Eastern time. All right, Ramon, let's click over at TonySpace.com. We've been an absolute fire the past 30 days here. Uh, I don't think I, it's now up to this. What did we get now up 1,740 units of profit I'm showing. So there's been some grading coming in here. So Ramon's been on absolute fire. 1,740 units of profit here the last 30 days. That's our latest update since I've updated this about an hour ago. So Ramon has been on, on fire here the last 30 days. Of course, today we've got a 15-game card here from Major League Baseball. I know there's WNBA action. I know the, that you actually delve into soccer, Copa Libertadores, Copa Sudamerica, some Brazilian action as well. What do you have going over at Tony's Picks? Well, we're going to be fully involved in Major League Baseball. I mean, uh, to say we've turned it around this season would be an understatement. We've really uh, reversed our field and are on, yeah, pretty hot. Uh, you know, I hate to jinx it and use the word on fire i'm on fire like a like an old score phone but certainly right now uh in major league baseball uh, almost can't miss with at least putting together a winning card each day for the last uh month or so uh just a couple of days where i've had a loser so that's that's really where it's been and that's what feels good to me because uh, i love baseball so much so but we've had some success certainly in some other sports as well tony but the baseball run right now 26 and 13 in the last 39 games got a three pack up right now uh not by by uh, choice it just happened to be this three pack is all the games that start at eight eastern five pacific uh, i will add i believe a few more but these were the overnight or the early morning games that I uh, put together in the package and I'm still finalizing a few. Also, there's a two-game WNBA card. Please take a look at my video previews of the games between uh, Seattle and Indiana as well as Connecticut and Dallas, uh, two games tonight. So uh, that's what we're looking at tonight, Tony, just a pretty light uh, action as far as the number of sports is concerned, but certainly we got that full Major League Baseball card and uh, I will be adding, I think, uh, to the cards still uh, to come. Probably won't get over maybe maybe one more package, maybe five plays total in the major leagues, and probably just one play in the WNBA, although both games are still on my radar as potential uh, premium picks there. Uh, but check out the series and uh, uh, the videos for today, tonight's games as well. Got a couple of free picks, of course. Uh, with those previews on Tony's Picks YouTube channel. That's right, guys. Get a bro. We almost got over at Tony's Picks updated grade, grading now. 1,740 units of profit last 30 days. That is all documented. So if you visit Tony's Picks, go down to uh, Ramon's Handicapper page, and you'll see all the plays that are documented, are fully documented there. That 1,320 units, that was the last seven days. So uh, he's been on fire the last seven days, adding up over 1,700 units now for the past 30 days. Ramon has a three-pack right now, evening baseball from you right now, so get on board with that. Affordable price is just $30 uh, over at Tony's Picks. Yeah, man's on fire. Uh, we don't raise the prices. They're still the same. Really affordable pricing there uh, from Ramon. Also, too, the long-term passes we talk about. Of course, Ramon it does have a CFL and WNB season pass up there. Very affordably priced. We got those monthly passes up there, those all sports passes. These are the ones you want to look for now. We got these things running. All sports pass monthly from Ramon Scott. All, all sports from Ramon. Now we've got this thing set up now. When we say all sports, we mean all sports, not just the major sports. Of course, Ramon's in action in tennis. He's in action in, um, in uh, as well as uh, golf, tennis, uh, soccer. Uh, so all sports that Ramon puts in there as a premium will be yours for a one-month pass here. Just $3.29 for a one-month all sports pass here from Ramon Scott because he's in action in many sports. 
I will do save do some math for you. We'll save you some money. You can use the promo code Tony T at checkout and you'll save 20% off. That's $66 off a of one month all sports pass from Ramon Scott from all the sports that he handicaps. You know he's up early with the Wimbledon. He's in there with the tennis matchups. Once in a while you'll see some golf. He'll be he'll, he'll go off with, with soccer. Uh, and uh, we do we do uh, uh, document lots of soccer action from the South American leagues, North American leagues, League MX, MLS, you name it, he's on it. So get on board with an all-sports pass from Ramon Scott. Make some money with Ramon. He's been on fire here, as we said. Uh, we say on fire because it sounds better than being on acid. So uh, right now, 1,704 units of profit from Ramon Scott over the last 30 days. And so get on board and use that promo code Tony T at checkout, and you'll save 20% off. All right, Ramon, it's always uh, great having the show. Continue that great success. And, of course, we mentioned that you, you contribute a lot to the channel here with your video series on CFL, WNB. And, of course, we put together a Twitter account for you, Tony Speaks Ramon. No, I think I was having a Doc Ellis flashback there, uh, Tony. With the uh, uh, These are the greenest trees in the world. I've never – okay. Uh, anyway, back to my youth. Uh, yeah, Tony, uh, over at Tony Speaks Ramon, I've got one play up there. It's uh, – Tony, I'm going to hold you to this one, man. I mean, you said we might have NBA Summer League. Looks like we're not going to cover it, but my pick today is in the NBA Summer League action. So I took a look at some of the uh, matchups. I thought we might be covering it. Pardon me, guys. Yeah, I don't know if their lines are coming no, out later. What on that one? I think I think I think they're they're late late releasing because I did see it the other night, right before maybe a few hours before game time. So we'll keep an eye on that. I think our line I think the our line providers are. Our, our, we got to keep an eye on that because I did see them up last weekend, and then they went and again right you know before game time we're not seeing them, so we'll, we'll we'll look into it. Yep, thanks, Tony. I'm a little under the weather uh, over the holidays, so pardon me for that. And uh, yeah, so I have one pick up there on uh, Tony's picks, uh, Ramon. And uh, like I said, Tony, you know when it comes to you, appreciate you, those comments about my record, and people always say, you know, in the tout game, you know, well, why are you out there selling picks when you're good? You know, you should just, you know, play your own picks. Why do you have to be out there selling picks? But let me tell you something, and I think it goes with, I was thinking about Hank Goldberg and the work that he did, you know, he was a reporter. I'm a reporter, but I mean, I like to prognosticate. And you th think about when you have a bet and the adrenaline that you get. Well, let me tell you something. It's ten times as great when you're a tout, when you're, you know, when people are on your picks. I mean, we're all general adrenaline junkies, right? I mean, you, me, everybody, all of us that are playing, the, the people out there watching and betting on the games, that's why we do it, the excitement, the winning. People even say, you know, sometimes the losing hurts. We like that. Why don't you just go ahead and bet your own games? Why do you have to sell picks? Well, people don't always want to do the work. They have jobs and everything. That's why we do the work for you. But, again, the the feeling that you get when you're picking well and people are subscribed to your picks, I'm telling you, after doing this for as many, many years and been touting for many years almost my whole life, the feeling that you get is ten times as great when you're winning for people rather than just for yourself. I mean, sometimes there's an, a little emptiness there when you're sitting there in an empty room and you've won the bet and there's no one around but – all you can do is celebrate yourself, man. When you're pulling them in for uh, uh, clients or uh, friends or whatever, that feels great. That's why uh, we do this, and that's why I got involved with you uh, with you here, because I want to do that, uh, and I think I speak for my uh, uh, co co-guests as well. So thanks a lot, Tony, and uh, let's have a good day, a good week. All right. Okay. But I am Ramon Scott, guys. Check him out on Twitter. Tony Speak Ramon for more picks. And of course, get signed up to one of his long term passes. That promo code Tony T at checkout will save you 20%. All right, Ramon, have yourself a great evening. We'll talk with you again tomorrow. Appreciate you, sir. You got it, Ramon.